In this video, we are going to look at the associative properties of whole numbers over addition and multiplication. So there are two aspects that we will see in this particular video. Let's look at the first one which is associative properties of whole number over addition. Now let's say for example you had some whole numbers. Let's call them as A, B and C. Okay? You have to add all the three of them together. Addition. Now does it make a difference if I first add A plus B and whatever is the sum which I get to that I add C or if I have the same number A plus B plus C would it make a difference if I add B plus C first and whatever is the sum of this to that I add A in other words if I change the order of addition in any three numbers would the result be any different is what it is meant by this let's take some examples so let's say we have three number four six and seven okay so what I do is I do four plus six first and then I add seven so four plus six gives you ten plus seven gives you seventeen now what I do is instead of doing the addition of four plus six together I do four plus six plus seven right or in other words 4 plus 6 plus 7 gives you 13 the answer is 17 now what you notice here is that in both the cases the answer is 17 okay and this applies for all the whole numbers which means that whenever you are adding more than two whole numbers it doesn't matter which of the two you add first and which one you add afterwards the result will always be the same now you must be wondering what is the use of this particular thing that I can make in my practical life. Many a times you may get addition, okay, which may be easier to do if you rearrange the numbers. So let's say for example I tell you add 13 plus 24 plus 17, right? If I add 13 plus 24 first, okay, or if I add 24 plus 17 first, I need to see is it better if I rearrange these numbers? So can I do it like 13 plus 17 plus 24? Now why, why did I choose this? I know 3 plus 7 gives me 10. So it makes it easier to add these two numbers first and then do the addition for the third. In other words, this gives me 30 plus 24 is equal to 54. This might be easier to do rather than making an addition of 13 plus 24 first and then adding 17 to it. So if I do 13 plus 24, I will do 4 plus 3, 7, 2 plus 1, 3, plus 17. Okay, and when I do the addition of these two again, it will give me 54. The answer will be same, but it just becomes easier when we rearrange them properly with a logic. Now let's see whether this same property applies when we refer to the whole numbers in case of multiplication. Or in other words, for any three numbers A, B and C, does it matter if I multiply A plus B first and then I multiply the product with C or instead I multiply B plus C first and whatever is the product I get, thereafter I multiply A with it. Let's look at for that in terms of numbers. So let's say we multiply 4 plus 5 plus 6. So first we will multiply these two numbers 4 plus 5 this will give me 20 times 6 the answer is 120 as against this if I multiply 4 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6 or in other words 4 times 5 times 6 gives you 30 4 times 30 gives you 120 so what I notice is that the answer in both these cases is the same right so we say that the whole numbers are associative over multiplication meaning thereby in any given set of whole numbers you may multiply the first two together and then multiply the product with the third one or you multiply the first and third together and then you multiply it with the second one 
or something like this you multiply the second and third first and then multiply the product with the first one in all the cases the answer will always be the same when you are dealing with whole numbers